All right, I'm printing out the section of the track plan that has the town. Something like 148 pages. So I'm going to burn through some paper. It'll be interesting to see see what I have when it's done. Well, I probably should have just printed out maybe 30, 40 sheets at a time. Because now what I have is I got this huge stack of paper and I have to figure out what goes where. So, see if I can get that all worked out. Well, I have the track plan for this section printed out. I'm going to have to go and trim the sheets up and tape everything together so it fits right but I absolutely burned up my toner cartridge in my little laser printer so all the pages in this section will have to be reprinted once I put a new toner cartridge in now in order to print from extract CAD what I did is I went up here to file print and then I set the scale right here to 1 page width 11 inches I'm using landscape so I'm using normal 8.5 by 11 printer paper so I set the page width to 11 and it wants the height to be 7.5 inches because the papers were over, will overlap so I tried to set it to eight and a half. It didn't like it. It wants it to be seven and a half. So then go on your screen here where your track plan is and simply click on, and all these squares here on the screen are eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by seven and or 11 by seven and a half pieces of paper. So just click on the ones you want printed. And you notice over here, it's counting the number of pages that it's going to print. And you see I have five pages selected and five pages to print. Now one thing I learned from printing out the first section, don't put the streets and stuff like that. And even these black lines where I have my bench work, that will eat up your toner cartridge if you have a I have a small laser printer I have a Hewlett Packard 15W M15W and it just absolutely destroyed my toner cartridge it went leaving all the streets and everything in it just used it all up so I deleted all my streets and you know still even these 50 pixel wide or that prints out pretty wide on the paper so that's all there is to it. And then down here, there's a roadbed outline. And I measured my cork roadbed, and it's about 1.9 inches. Not quite, just a little bit less than that. But anyway, that's all there is to it. And then just hit print, and it'll start printing them out. And it goes by rows. So for instance, this is a row right here. This is a row right here. And initially, I was a little confused by that. But th for instance, I believe this is row 16. And it probably, it probably starts over here. One, two, three, four, and on and on. And it'll go, and it goes from the bottom to the top. So this bottom square would be one, and in, and in my case, the top page is 21. So it's, for instance here, it's 1621, 1620, 1619, 1618, and on and on and on. So you know which page goes to what. I have to say that I'm pretty happy with how this all turned out. And I'm using a free program, Extract CAD. I mean, it didn't cost me anything. 
and I've never tried anything else. You know, I downloaded Extract Cat a couple of years ago and started using it, and I just didn't want to learn anything else. But, you know, I have to say that everything I put into the program transferred pretty well to my bench work. And I was pretty careful about entering in the dimensions of my bench work. And I think that paid off because, you know, the plan fits my bench work really well. You know, when taping together 150 pieces of paper, well, you're going to have issues like that, but... I can work around that. So overall, I'm pretty happy with it. So like always, thanks for watching. And I guess next, you know, I'll try to get the track plan transferred to the bench work. And really start thinking about putting down some track. So thanks again for watching.